Hey, hey, everybody, this is Tea Time with the Diva. Grab your tea, grab your coffee, because we got all oh, what a story for you today. Listen, Nicki Minaj married her husband, Kevin Petty. Now, when they got married, she knew he had a history, and his history required him wherever he moves, wherever he goes, whatever state he decides to lay his head in, he has to register as a sex offender because of his past. Now he did his time behind bars, but some people are determined to make him pay time for the rest of his natural life. The, the neighbors in their neighborhood, they're being petty. They started a petition. They want Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty, out. They say, get out. You're going to devalue uh, uh, the homes in our neighborhood? We don't want you here. This is a hot mess, people, but we're about to get into it right after this. All right, guys, I'm going to get right into this story and go ahead and share a screen with y'all. This is sad, but, you know, yeah, and the, everything we do in life, they, it has consequences to it, okay? So thank you, TMZ. It says, Nicki Minaj neighbors want her out, concerns over her husband. All right, let's continue. Hidden Hills isn't big enough for Nicki Minaj and her convicted felon husband. At least that's what some of Nikki's neighbors think. And they want the couple out pronto. There's a petition, petition circulating online for Hidden Hills residents worried about Nikki and her hubby, Kenneth Petty, moving into the fancy neighborhood. And hundreds of folks have signed on, all right? That was his mugshot way back when. The petition, which was started by his, Hidden Hills resident, Beverly Barden, takes issue with the fact that Kenneth is a registered sex offender after being convicted in New York of attempted rape back in 1995 in a case that landed him in prison for more than four years. So he did his time, people. And this is for anybody that's convicted of anything. If the judge hands you down a sentence and you do your time, when you get out, should you keep being re-victimized? And I'm not people minimizing what he was convicted of. So please do not get it twisted if you're going to chat with me in the comments about this situation. All I'm saying is he did his time. And if we're going to keep re-victimizing someone after they do their time, why let them out? Tell them they got to do life. Let's continue. As for why the new petition on Petty, um, he recently filed new legal documents changing his address on the Megan's Law website. So you got to imagine the neighbors took note. So let me tell you something, a, a little backstory with this and, and Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj, right? So his victim, she, it, it was a couple years back where she resurfaced again, so to speak. To pretty much say that, you know what, he is not registering like he's supposed to when he moves around as a sex offender. So she pretty much said when he got with Nicki Minaj and they got married, he didn't register as a sex offender. And then as a result, the victim said that Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty started harassing her. Like the story is all over the internet. Y'all could Google and go back into that, okay? And so she said that they started harassing her because they wanted her to retract 
what she said he did years ago and what he went to jail for because he did not want to continue to go around registering as a sex offender. And so there's a whole big thing on that where the victim is saying, you know what? He and his wife are harassing me. They're trying to get me to recant what I said happened to me. So he kind of brought a lot of this on himself by all he had to simply do is when he first got with Nikki is register, but he didn't. And as a result of him not doing that, a whole bunch of stuff resurfaced and came about. So he been living with Nikki, but he didn't register. So now he finally registered and the neighbors are in the uproar. Just wanted to give you a little backstory. Let's go back down, right? So Nikki and Kenneth bought a mansion in Hidden Hills back in December. And as we first reported, Kenneth is currently serving one year of home detention for failing to register as a sex offender in California. That's what I was trying to tell you all that backstory, okay? So the way Beverly um, see, seems to see it, and this is a neighbor that started the petition, the mayor president of Nikki and Kenneth in Hidden Hills would hurt home values and create safety concerns. So she's like, I paid too much for my home. I don't got time for them to be here. Beverly is encouraging Nikki neighbors to warn residents about Kenneth. And she wants folks to sign the, pe the petition to show that you are against sex offenders in our Hidden Hills neighborhood. Oh, this is a lot. The petition title, Say No to Sex Offenders in Hidden Hills, was launched shortly after Nikki dropped $19.5 million on her estate. Woo, that's a lot of money. Well, Nikki, she got the money, right? But it all, but it's gained a lot of traction lately with over 100 signatures in the last few days, bumping the number to 862 and counting. Well, you know what? I mean, I guess that's a lot, right, for one neighborhood. I guess that's a lot. I, You know, oh, this is crazy. Hidden Hills is becoming the new Beverly Hills. Other celebs with homes in the area include Kim Kardashian, Car Kylie Jenner, and Kris Jenner, plus Will and Jada. So it's a very um, prestigious, you know, area out there in California, Hidden Hills. So here's the thing, guys. I, I don't know what to say about this. Sex offenders and ex-criminals have to live somewhere. So are we saying that they should all be on some castaway island? Are we saying that if you happen to be an ex-sex offender and have money or marry someone that have money that y'all can't live in certain neighborhoods? This is a mess. Oh, um, Shout out to Nikki in this um, amazing home. $19.5 million. Who? it's a lot of money. Um, I will say this, and this is not to just Nicki Minaj. This is to any female or any even male that is, that's getting married. Once you join as a couple, once you take two and become one, whatever situation your mate had, it now becomes yours. So you have to be careful. And I'll go simple down. I'll, I'll bring it down to a money factor, not even something as serious as on this level. When you have a partner that you're about to marry and they're $200,000, $300,000, $50,000 in debt, now that becomes your debt. So you have to say to yourself, am I okay taking this on? So surely if you marry a man, because they got a whole show, um, Love at the Lockup, Okay, if you marry a man that has a criminal past and has been in behind bars, you have to understand what that means to you in your life, because now his time is going to be attached to you. His crimes is going to be attached to you because the world sees you all as one, your husband and wife. So, Nikki, I, I, I don't think this on a standpoint of just in general. Not talking about this particular individual, Kenneth Petty and Nicki Minaj right now. I'm just talking about in general. In general, I feel that when people have done a crime and they have done their time, I think it's wrong for the world to keep punishing them over and over and over and over and over again for their past. If Kenneth Petty had more victims that was still coming out and saying, listen, 
He did this in current day. He did this to me. He did it to me yesterday, last week, last month or whatever. Then I would have major concerns. And I'm not minimizing what happened to the young lady back during that time period. It was wrong. It was messed up. This woman is still traumatized. And allegedly, the Nicki Minaj and Kenneth Petty, you know, current day was threatening her or whatever the case may be. And all of that is wrong. But let's just deal with right now, living in this neighborhood where I purchased my home and people want to go around warning my husband and doing a witch hunt. Sort of kind of like a witch hunt. Warn all the people, you want to warn all the neighbors that I'm an ex-sex offender? I don't, this is a rough one for me, guys. I don't get it. But listen, y'all got to chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. I, I'm trying to figure this thing out. I'm trying to figure this thing out. But high level right now, I want to say, I think the neighbors are wrong. I think this is messy and I think it's messed up. That's where I'm standing right now. Doesn't mean that I might not change my mind later. If y'all give me a thought process to say, no diva, um, they're right. They have this right. But right now, I'm, I'm thinking this is wrong. I can afford to live in this neighborhood. I purchased my home just like y'all purchased my home. So if they don't live here, Nicki Minaj and this Kenneth Petty don't live here, where do they live? Where do they live? Where do they live? I think right now I'm going to say the neighbors are being petty. Listen, guys. Chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. What are your thoughts on this situation? I don't know what's on my um, chest here. Um, let me know your thoughts on this situation. Do you Are you siding with the neighbors? Are you siding with Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty? Y'all know the routine. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, thanks for watching and welcome back. And all of you, hit that like button, okay? Chat with me in the comments. And when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. The question is, are you siding with the neighbors and going to be petty? Or are you siding with Nicki Minaj and her husband, Kenneth Petty? Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.